Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure cross database queries in Azure SQL database. To achieve this, we have a wonderful tech community uh, link for that. Um, so I will explain the, through that link. Okay, I copied all the scripts from that link. So what I am going to create the two DBs, one is RGDB and remote DB with a standard S0 service type. Select that and click on the execute. We need to run on the master context. Now the two queries got executed successfully. Now we need to create a login with the password in the master database. Click execute. Now go select the server and click refresh. Expand the databases. Open a new query on the uh, just okay. Now what we need to do? We need to create a user under the remote db copy that select the remote db and select new query remember that we have just created for the user in the remote db uh, for the login remote logger but we didn't assign any permissions for that okay now and we need to go go to master key in the origin database Okay, click on new query. Paste it. You can remember, you can keep the password as it is or you can change. Click execute. Not executed. Now, what is going to? Now we need to create a database credential, scope credentials in the origin database. Copy that. Go to that keep the password what you uh, set for the remote logger yes okay click execute Now we need to create the external data, data source for the origin database. Okay. Create a copy that. Here you need to change the server name. Here my server name is test demo 07. Copy that and go to origin database. Paste it. Execute. Sorry, I need to execute under uh, what the uh, server one name. Here's the origin database. Copy that. Now go to origin, new query, paste it. Click execute. Now it's successful. Close it. Now go back this way. Now we need to create the in the remote source. So here remove that and change to open new query and paste it I will execute it now. Now what we need to do, we need to create the external table.
where I need to create in the Arjun database. Click on Arjun, new query, paste it and execute successfully. Now we need to grant the use remote DB and we need to run the remote DB in a way. Okay. And then setting in the table. DMRs are not supported, right? So, there and remove the remote table. So, go to attach this one, new query, and paste it. Click execute. So we have it successfully. For that, open. Now, query for the select table. Go to add this. This is the Archin database. I'm oh, sorry. Go to Archin. So all these XML tables will take time now for right now we need to go to the remote DB And as well as we need to check the data. Okay, as it is easy. Now I will show you remote DB. He, yeah, whenever uh, in the remote DB I have created one table, but where if I do that, uh, so I am accessing the remote DB table from the Arjun DB. So if you see that. Arjun table. See, even though I don't have any table here in the Arjun database, still I'm able to query the remote table because of external tables. So where I can find this remote table here in Arjun database, here in the external table, you can find that. See, this is how. So what we have done is, we have created a table and uh, we are accessing that from Arjun DB. External tables will only support select queries. So I will show you how to clean up this lab. First, whatever we have created, uh, we have to work on this database. We have created external tables and external data source and everything in this Arjun DB. So first, before drawing that, we need to drop the external table. 
after that we need to drop the data source after that we need to drop the credential after that we need to drop the master key so this is how we need to clear the lab in the rgdb i hope you like this video thank you